Good morning, guys. I hope you guys are healthy and safe and doing well. Um, I appreciate everyone's hard work. You guys have been turning in some outstanding uh, homework, so thank you, thank you. Um, so, what's up for this week? Well, you just wrapped up Chapter 8 last week. Today we'll be uh, discussing what's going on for this week. And so you wrapped up 8-7 on difference of perfect squares and perfect square trinomials. You did eight five, which was on basic trinomials. And then you did eight eight on factoring four term polynomials where you used the Punnett square and factored out the GCFs both in row and columns. And then eight six, on those trinomials where the front number is not one. So those were the sassy ones, but you guys have been doing very well. Thank you for watching my videos and following the steps. You guys have been showing, again, some excellent work. So thank you. So the fact that we just finished chapter eight tells us that we're probably ready for a test, quiz, maybe a study guide review sheet. So this week is all about review and some kind of culminating task where you can show me that you in fact have all the factoring skills down. Now obviously I could easily create a quiz, test, throw it out, everyone does it, or maybe I could do something different. And so this week I've decided to do something a little different. So yes, you do have a review sheet. You can think of it as a study guide if you'd like. It is very cumulative, so it's 8.5, 8.6, 8.7, and 8.8. Um, the worksheet is awesome, the notes and the homework. I was super specific at the top what variety each one was, so that allows you to go back to your videos and your notes to review that, that strategy if need be. And we're gonna do the notes together in uh, other videos, and you guys are gonna do the homework. So you'll have a nice, great review sheet. So I've decided against a test or quiz. We don't need to give it. Um, you're gonna create something for me instead that proves the depth of your factoring knowledge on all five types. Again, difference of perfect squares, perfect square trinomials, uh, trinomials, both the easy variety where the front coefficient is one, the more sassy variety where the front coefficient is not one, and those four term polynomials. So those five, you're gonna show me on some kind of product that you're gonna make with deep explanations, examples, all work shown, answer checks, everything. It's gonna be amazing, I cannot wait. And you're probably going, what is this thing I'm gonna make instead of taking a test or a quiz? Well, you're gonna either make a poster or a book. I would suggest if you make the poster, um, you have a little less space when making the poster. So if you have teeny, very neat writing, that's probably the better bet, do the poster. If you have really big writing, you need more space, you explain yourself in crazy more details, hello, yes, I, I, I'm there with you, uh, I would say go with the book. If you'd like a quick, here's a poster, literally one side, nothing else on the other side, and you can see I have every variety in there, I have examples, um, answer checks, you name it, it's in there. I can't even see if it's in there, there we go. So this poster is one-sided, or the same content can go on a book. So page one, page two, page three, and lastly, page four. I'm gonna give you some close-up examples of these. You're not gonna try to look through the video and figure it out. Uh, the only thing you need to create this poster or book is one slice of paper. You don't need glue sticks, you don't need scissors, you don't need staplers, you don't need glitter, God forbid. Glitter, oh, what a nightmare. You need a single piece of paper. This is one of the things I grabbed on my way out the door um, on March 13th, which was our last day live together. Um, you need one slice of paper. Ta-da, there's your poster. Or if you'd like the book, you grab it. You fold it, and now you have a book. You have your front page, page one, page two, page three, and page four. So there's your book. Uh, watch for another video on 
more intense descriptions of this. I also created a pretty rad rubric, so make sure you check that out. It gives very specific details on what is an A, what is a B, and what is a C. Um, and I would prefer everyone earn an A or B, so if you earn a C or less, I'm gonna have you go back and redo it because I wanna see some amazing skills. And these mini books are important. You're gonna use them in Algebra 2 Trig. I've had lots of kids give me amazing compliments. I've even had kids send me messages from their college classes through Facebook Messenger and say, Miss Miller, I'm in my college class right now and I have my mini book open. This is amazing, it's like having you with me. And I'm like, stop messaging me through your classes, pay attention to your teacher. But um, a lot of kids say these uh, kind of products really help them in their future math classes. So take it seriously, make something that's really good. It's gonna help you in Algebra 2 Trig, I promise. Um, and again, you can choose poster, book. Back in the day, I uh, my requirement was a mini book for every single chapter. So this year, we're only doing one on factoring. Uh, every year, that's kind of what I've whittled it down to is just that one factoring book because I know how important it is for uh, Algebra 2 Trig and beyond. So I was one of those crazy kids that went to pre-cal and calc um, in high school and then got that degree in math and took more. Uh, so uh, maybe you'll be that person too. You just take math because it's an amazing subject. Um, so uh, watch for more videos. I'm going to do again the notes. I'm going to do more videos on the poster and the book so you can see close-ups of those and specifically what I'm looking for. Um, again, hope all is well. We see our new student class student here, Mr. T-Rex. There he is. Um, love you guys. Be safe. Bye.